Hey, listen and welcome back to my channel where I talk about mom stuff, writer stuff, and general life stuff. I decided this week I wanted to talk about something kind of fun and upbeat and my best friend suggested that I talk about Zelda. So, um, maybe a little bit of a fan. Now, this journey might be dangerous, a little too dangerous to go alone, so I brought company. Maybe a little bit of a nerd, geek, dork, whatever. You'll find out. The Legend of Zelda has been in my life for as long as I can remember. I'm a third generation gamer. My grandmother played Mario. She still plays Mario Party with us sometimes. This means that I've been playing video games pretty much since I could walk. And that includes Legend of Zelda. The first Legend of Zelda that I ever played from beginning to end completely by myself was Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is also the first video game that really pulled me into its world building and its story. From the Kokiri, who are the children of the forest, to the fact that if you're not a Kokiri and you go in the Lost Woods, you run the risk of turning into a Stalfos, which is a skeleton-like enemy that tries to kill people. Or you turn into a Skull Kid. And when I played Ocarina of Time, I was a little kid. So I was really drawn into that whole Link is me and I am Link. He's my connection into the world. So I was saving Hyrule. I was the one connected to the Deku Tree. I was the one forming the brotherly bond with Darunia and accidentally getting engaged to a fish woman and then breaking up with her seven years later. And of course it didn't stop with Ocarina of Time. My dad bought Majora's Mask for himself but then, when Wind Waker was coming out, he had no real interest in that one, so I saved up and I bought Wind Waker myself. And then for Twilight Princess, I saved up babysitting money and I bought that one. And just on and on it goes, and I own all of them. I own all of them on every version, on every system I can. I legitimately love each and every installment in the game series in its own way. Each game is its own story, each game brings its own unique thing to the table, from Wind Waker's fighting system to Twilight Princess's dark graphics. Yes, I'm including spirit tracks. I enjoyed driving around on a choo-choo train saving the world. That was a blast for me. It was very nice and stress relieving. Obviously, The Legend of Zelda is still a really big part of my life. And it's been a pretty deep part of my life ever since I was a kid, especially in relation to reading and writing. I'm dyslexic, so it was really hard for me to learn how to read. And one of the motivating things for me to learn to read was not having to depend on an adult to read all of my cutscenes to me when I was playing Ocarina of Time. So I would sit there and sound out all of the words, and as time went on, I got better and better at it, and it really, really helped. And then I was a little bit of a brat, and I didn't want to read all of the cutscenes out to my sisters, so I helped them learn to read by using Ocarina of Time. To this day, we were using Link's Awakening to help the boys get better with their reading, and as Roxanne starts learning to read, I'll probably do the same thing with her. Skipping ahead, well, going back, skipping ahead, returning to the middle. I've explained how in elementary school, The Legend of Zelda helped motivate me to learn how to read. In middle school is when I decided that I wanted to be an author. I knew it was a long ways away, but I was only going to get there if I had a starting point. So I started writing stories. I read a lot of stories. I consumed all of the storytelling media that I could. Video games, comic books, manga, movies, TV shows. If it had a story to tell, I was trying to absorb it. This, of course, included The Legend of Zelda. I would research creator interviews, author interviews, video game developer interviews, and Shigure Miyamoto's, of course, stuck out to me because he, he just loved to create. He had so much fun making his stories and his video games, and he had such a passion for it. And for The Legend of Zelda in particular, he wanted this fairy tale feeling and this fairy tale aesthetic. He wanted gamers to feel specific things when they played a Legend of Zelda game. 
and he hasn't really been in charge of the Legend of Zeldas for a while, you can still feel his influence in Breath of the Wild. There's just this weird child-like wonder when you go to play it. It just, just takes me back to playing a game when I was a kid. You just explore. You have as much fun just roaming around a digital forest for hours as you can actually solving all of the puzzles that the Legend of Zelda series is known for. So just really, Shigure Miyamoto was a creator that I would really love to be. Just somebody who has a lot of fun making whatever it is that I'm making, as long as I'm having fun and I love it and other people get joy out of it too. That's, that's the most that I can ask for. Alongside all of this knowledge that I was gaining about creators and what motivates them and how they go about creating things, I also realized I needed to expand outside of my small circle of friends if I wanted to actually improve my writing. And in high school, I gained unsupervised access to the internet. But it was the 90s and the number one thing that all writers of the 90s, at least in my school, were terrified of was that our wonderful masterpieces that we were writing at the ages of between 15 and 18 would be stolen. So I decided to write fan fiction, as many of us do. And of course, I wrote Zelda fan fiction, Ocarina of Time fan fiction to be specific. That's where I met my husband. He wrote Zelda fan fiction, I wrote Zelda fan fiction. We read and reviewed each other's stories, we emailed, we corresponded. Fast forward almost a decade later and here we are. Happily married and happily Zelda nerds. The Legend of Zelda has been a huge part of my life. From the time I was little until today. It's such a big part of my life that I've used it to symbolize my relationship with my husband, my relationship with my sisters, even my kids. I have a mom tattoo that has a Triforce. It's just, it means a lot to me and I could really go on for hours just breaking down everything and if I made a video just talking about all of the games and what I loved about each game, that would be much longer than this 10 to 12 minute video that I'm trying to keep 10 to 12 minutes. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you liked it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Ring-a-ding that bell. If you want to see samples of my writing, my website is right here. I also exist on social media at Samantha L. Massett. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook. That's it for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed the company. We'll see you next week. Bye! Say hello. Lost in, lost in the lost woods. I was saying it right and I got tongue tied. Hey, my missing eyeliner. That was a Valentine's Day present. That's how much he loves me. <laughs>